Imagine this, you have a folder of data and you build this query in Excel to merge everything perfectly. But as soon as you move the project to a new location, BAM! The path breaks and you are stuck. This happens all the time when working in teams or on shared projects. So let's say that you have a folder called data with some files that need to be consolidated. You create a new Excel workbook, go to the data tab, get data from file from folder. And consolidate everything, is it right? But here is the catch. If you take a look at the formula bar, the folder path is static or absolute. It's locked to that one location. You save your file, move your data folder and main file to a new project subfolder and then reopen it later. You try to refresh the data and what happens? Error. The path is broken, it doesn't exist anymore. This is a huge issue, especially when you are working with others. But don't worry, there is a simple trick to fix this once and for all. First, I like to create a separate sheet in the main file called settings. You can do this anywhere you like. There is a lesser known function called cell that will save the day. Just type equal sign cell open the bracket file name comma a1 the first cell and close the bracket. Press enter and you'll get the full address of your current file, including its name. Now we don't need the whole thing, just the folder address. So we'll use text formulas. My go-to method is using left and find. It works even in older versions of Excel. Once you have the folder path, Turn the cell into a table using Ctrl T and give it a name. Let's call it Pass. That makes it super easy to bring it into Power Query. To get just the value, right click and hit Drill Down. We can even simplify these steps down into one easy to use formula that will always return the relative folder path. Back in our source query, replace the old static address with your shiny new relative one. If your files were in a subfolder like data, remember to keep that part in the path. And don't forget, you'll need to update the sample file query with the new relative path as well. Once that is done, you can go ahead and delete the path query, since we won't need it anymore. Now after completing all these steps, You'll have a template file that consolidates all the files in the data subfolder no matter where it is located, whether it's on your local drive, in the network folder or even in the cloud. To prove it works, I'm going to rename the project subfolder and as you'll see, everything stays intact. The data refreshes smoothly and the query works just as expected. And the neat part. You won't have to repeat all these steps every time. This template is now ready to be reused for future projects. Just drop it into a new folder and you are ready to go. Thanks for watching, see you next time.